So that screen you just saw is a video I just made with it was meant to be a screen capture video and it only had the box ticked for the um, <laughs> for the for the camera. So I get to do it again. Whee! Okay, so here's an example of me making content from uh, something that's come up in my process of making this group for the content creation challenge that occurred to me that not everybody knows how to do it because I see people doing it wrong frequently. And um, it's not that everything has to be just so, but there's some things that have to be just so. So what we're doing is showing you, if you don't already know, how to make a group on Facebook and the things that I find important to to uh, manage with when you're doing it. So I had just made this really long, probably too rambly video, and now I can be more succinct, so it's just as well. But it took me a minute to like say, oh my god, I have to do it again and like regroup, and it's fine. I'm going to just do it, and that's what you can do too. When you screw up, just like regroup and go deep breath and just do it again. Okay. So, oh, Holly's on a catch-up, so we might have a few of her notifications over here. Okay, so uh, the very first thing you're going to do is go to any group and go to create group and just click create group and what will happen is a, a screen will pop up that looks like this. You're going to name your group. You can amend it later, so don't worry about what it's exactly called. You might It might come to be something a little bit more on, on point later and that's okay. You can change it. Um, and then it says add some people and you have to add somebody but what it does is send an invitation. So it doesn't actually add them to the group yet. It sends an invitation at this point. Um, leave the default, which is closed, for the privacy. Um, the other two choices are public or secret. Secret would be for if you have a very, like, a very tight knit group for like not going, people going to be coming and going, or if you don't want the competition to be seeing what your what your topics are or whatever, then you could set it to secret. The only drawback to that is that people can't find it unless they're in the group, which is fine if you don't want them to find it. But if you do want them to find it, you they can't see it until you actually add them. And in order to add them, they have to be friended to you first. So just know that there's that um, caveat that you have to have them added as a friend and then actually go add them. Like it's a lot of manual work that you would be able to avoid by leaving it as closed. They have recently fixed the problem with people outside of the, a closed group could see who is inside of a closed group. So that is not even to be concerned about anymore. So you can just use the closed version unless you don't want people to see that you're even running the group at all, in which case you can use secret. Public to me doesn't make any sense because then people don't even have to join the group in order to read the group, unless it was some kind of like an announcement space or something like I could see. But then you could really use a page for that. So I don't really get the point of public, but public people don't even have to join the group in order to see all the content and, and they can't interact with the threads. So I don't really get the point of them. Leave it closed. Um, click pin to shortcut. If you uh, if it's if it's uh, more than ten already on your shortcut, it will give you an error message that you can't do that, and you'll have to go get rid of something on your shortcut menu, which is over here, and then add it later from your settings inside of the group. So I've already created the group because I did the video last creating the group. So now we have the group created, and I can't do it again. But what I can do is show you what I what I need to do yet, and what I've already done in the settings. So the next thing I need to do is personalize my group by putting on a picture. Um, I haven't decided what the art's going to be yet, just yet, so I have to do that. And when I do, it's going to have to be a certain size, and I forget what size. So I'm going to put in the description for this video what the actual size is once I remember to go find the size. It changes every couple of years or so. They sort of update their formatting of stuff, and then you have to resize your picture if it's a group that's lasted that long. Um, for me, um, this one, or for this group in particular, this is literally a group that's going to be open for five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, depending on how many people we get in here, we might run one pretty quick behind it so that there's, um, you know, a little bit of momentum and a little more clarity about how it's going and people can have be having some feedback and some testimonials and whatever about it. But uh, I'm going to spend the next day and a half bringing as many people into this as I can get in touch with on the weekend because sometimes people aren't even around on the weekend. And then Sunday night, I'm going to close red, you know, the, the doors to coming in and we're just going to get to work, work for five days. I already made a document with like some steps that I think will be appropriate to getting going and beginning to see, um, really it's the con, what I just said in another post, it's, it's a content forest 
that people can't see. They can't see the content for the content forest. Like, so, you know, the, like, you know, if you can't see the forest for the trees, content is literally everywhere around us. And it's really a matter of having that key turned and maybe some confidence around doing the work, which um, comes like into some headspace around what's value and all that. But um, we're just going to do it and we're going to have the experience of it's not that hard. And, oh, there's some more content. What do you know? I have, like, you'll have this endless, where you didn't before maybe have an endless I idea list. Or maybe you even do, and it's just, you know, fun to go do stuff with people for a week. Whatever it is, I'm glad you're here. If you've come into the group, I'll be glad you're here. I have to make the, that video next. So that let's get back to what I was doing here. The, um, it was a total tangent. <laughs> So you're going to want to make a picture. I'll get the, the actual dimensions. You're going to want to add a um, video at the top, and then you're going to stick it. Uh, when you have the video made, you can stick it as an announcement, and that'll make it stay at the very top of the group. And it's be you know, a welcome message that sets expectations, gives people an idea what's going to happen next, and ask them maybe to introduce themselves. Um, look for Probably I'll put a look for the thread to introduce yourself kind of thing. And, um, or maybe it'll be right under the video, I haven't decided yet, but you'll want to make some kind of a welcome piece, stick it to the top, and then um, once you've set expectations, you can start putting people in the group. And, you know, if you've said, okay, we're, we're just getting rolling here, we're going to, you know, go ahead and invite more people if you want to, um, it'd be really appreciated, and more the merrier, that kind of thing, and then, um, Set a start time if you're doing one of these five day ones. Set a start time and an end time and stick to it. So, you know, you can do um, countdown kind of thing, you know, closing in 12 hours. Be sure and get, you know, if you have any friends you want to come, bring them in, la la la. Um, and that way you have some, a container that you're not just like all of a sudden now managing the group instead of inviting people in. I mean, that's what can happen. You can be, so deep, this happens with coaching too, you can be so deep in the coaching of the people that are there that you're not refreshing the, the um, I don't even know what a good analogy is for that, but you're not, like you have to have both balls, you have to have both going. And this actually solves part of the problem with that, which is serving, uh, serving up free, free content and free, you know, all in, all in with your attention. And then having an offer that people can continue on, the ones that want to lean in further, having an offer that, that comes right after. Um, so we're trying this model. And uh, go get your group set up if you want to set up a group, whether it's a five-day challenge group or if it's a free group for getting to know you or if it's a paid group for, you know, buy, buy this thing, come in this group it's as a bonus, which is a lot of what I often do or whatever it is, sometimes I have, I have a couple groups still that have content in, I think of only one at the moment actually, that has content, is there one or two? I don't know, anyway, I've, I've set groups up like this before and I have one for sure that's running, it's a paid, paid product set up in a Facebook group, it probably needs to be in like a teachable or thinkific platform now, like with, like in a regular, like buy this program, here's the, here's the content kind of thing. Um, but the way I have it set up, it can run in a group, and it's been running in a group for two years, um, where I have uh, threads that are like the sort of like the units they have set up now. It could probably use the units version, too, of the Facebook groups. I haven't really used them yet, so I don't know. Oh, I didn't even show you the settings. I'm so sorry. So here's how I set up these settings. Um, so you have your group name. If you need to change it, it's here. Since this is a short-term group, I'm not even going to worry about this stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll fill in the description later when I'm a little clearer on what I want to say. Um, there's no location because it's online. I'm not going to worry about tags because it's not a long-term thing. It's not going to be found by anything, you know, anybody in the search. It's not going to last that long. Um, you don't want to put a link to anything because you're just delivering goodwill and or creating goodwill in your universe. That's it. You're not pitching anything. You're not promoting anything. You're not, 
you know, hoping they stumble over into something else. It's just all about, in this case, five days of content creation together, uh, like guided togetherness. Um, you, I did change this. So you can change the address. It comes with Facebook groups, number, whatever, blah, blah, blah. If there's a topic that's um, specific, you can change it up until 5,000 members in a group. So you can not worry about that for a while. And if it's not exactly right, you can still have it like be customized. It will not be use, usable after if you change it, though. So if you, change, you have it this, and then you send it to 100 people, and then you decide you want to change it, those 100 people won't have an active link to the group anymore. So probably just kind of get it right or don't bother at this point until you know for sure what you want it to be. Um, you don't need to change the privacy settings. Probably it's a closed group as default when you make them. Um, I haven't looked at the use of badges really, and I think it's such a fast and furious, this one. I'm not going to mess with it. So this is the social learning units. They don't quite have it right yet, I think my opinion. So they're trying to put it so that you have like a content area and then you have like a discussion area. But it's a little confusing still in how to use the space. It's like not user friendly. So I'm not I'm still not using them really. Like I've been trying to use them in other groups and it's just confused me. And so I you know a confused person doesn't make progress. Um, and you don't want that. You want people to, to feel like they're making progress. I see a little dog coming my way. Okay, uh, you want to only be only admins and moderators approve because you don't want anybody like a spammer to come through and just approve like 50 other spammers and then your group is shit. Uh, you want to have chat creation. So this is who can make new threads. Anybody can make new threads. However, down below you're gonna also uh, re require that to be approved. Um, you can pre so I set this to pre-approve my uh, existing group members. You don't have to mess with that unless you want to have it be less trouble. Um, I've asked one question only in this case, which is how do you know me? Because I'm curious. But other than that, and also to have people like make an effort to again be yes, I want to be in this group. It's always good to have people affirm that they're in the right place. That sort of thing. Um, if it was a longer term group, I'd have more of a filter on it, but it isn't, so I don't. Uh, allow pages. Okay, I actually don't want this. I don't want to allow pages. I want people to join us themselves. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then um, posting permissions. Anybody can post. So what was this other one? Chat creation. Oh, we don't want chats. We don't want chats. Turn the chats off. Posting permissions, anyone can post, anyone can post, but you want to set it so that they tick this box so that you have to, or a moderator has to approve the post. So, you know, people can not even intentionally post things that get other people off track of the purpose, which in this case is going to be these five threads that are about the each day's to do. And so the more that you can keep that, contained the better so you just have to have somebody yourself or somebody else or several somebody else's watching the posts as they come through to make sure that they're on point to the group um, we don't want to do stories so only admins and photos and videos yeah we don't want it. we want all of this to be like moderated so that it's inside the, the the group where other people are experiencing having their experience of this challenge is not muddied by other people's confusion or other people's agendas or anything like that. You just want to have it stay on track to what the what they've been invited to come experience and deliver that. So we save it and um, we start the discussion tab is where all of the stuff happens unless you've set up units which we're not going to do. If you had set up units they end up populating over here as a as a tab to click on when you when and if you put files upload files you'll get another tab that says files so that stuff all exists inside of the framework of the group potential but until you actually have that stuff like something in that space it doesn't it doesn't provide a link okay so that's how you set up a group um, I'll go find out what the let me just do it now what the current 
size is for Facebook. Oops, my computer's behind me. Uh, Facebook um, cover art. Art. So I was searching Facebook for groups. I wanted to search Facebook, but he was trying to make me search Facebook. I'm going to go down to Google search. And somewhere there should be a quick, well, this is the correct size. So this is how I find things. So it's currently 1640 by 856. You can go into Canva and um, make that size, uh, make that size uh, template and then make yourself a new picture for the top of your group, whether it's an image or a word art or whatever. Okay, okay, hope to see you in a group. If not, I hope this helps you make your own group and uh, have a super day. Okay, talk to you later.